When you say something people don't like, whether it's drivers, passengers, you name it, they will certainly let you know in the comments how they feel about it. And today I want to talk about a few comments where people tore yours truly a new one. What up, folks? Once again, it is indeed your boy Tim with another ride sharing video. This is in regards to a couple comments or uh, viewer feedback. To a video I actually posted quite a while ago, but the comment section, uh, a lot of folks didn't like what I had to say. Others defended it. The video was titled, Are Uber Drivers Discriminating Against Disabled Passengers? In this video, I stated what I often state. Drivers, whether we're driving for Uber or Lyft, we are not medical transports. We are not expected to go above and beyond with little to no compensation. And in the video I talked about, uh, or better yet, showed a video of a passenger that was on television doing a news story. I would implore you to watch the video, but she stated that because she's in a wheelchair, a lot of Uber and Lyft drivers pull up, see her in a wheelchair, and then they take off. And my response was, I understand why. We don't get paid enough to do extra work when most trips are only paying us between 3 and $7 per trip and no damn body is tipping us. So that's what somebody getting in your car and just peacefully jumping in and taking a trip. But now you add in the person is disabled. You may have to get out and fold up a walker, fold up a wheelchair, lift one, put it in the back of your vehicle and you're getting nothing extra. There's no prevalence of disabled folks tipping more than the regular folks. Nobody in this damn business tips. So the more duties you add on, the more drivers are going to try to avoid it. So in the video, in response to this, here's one of the comments. And this hammered me. Really did not like my video at all. But here, here's what they said. Since Uber drivers hate wheelchair users, I don't have to like Uber. I was going to use Uber on my trip to New Orleans next month, but after seeing this video, forget it. Can you say discrimination is alive and well with Uber? Now, I'm not going to lie. Some of the things I said uh, that, you know, drivers don't have to get out and things like that and do extra work, it can indeed be viewed as discriminatory. But I'll submit to you that drivers don't mind going above and beyond when they are properly compensated. But to anyone who is disabled watching this video, let it be known, Uber and Lyft take a large portion of the fare. So if you're getting into a Uber or getting into a Lyft to go on a short trip and maybe your take of the trip, maybe you got to pay 16, 17 bucks as a fare to go where you're trying to go as a disabled person. That driver may be getting six or seven bucks of that. That is all that driver may be getting. And that does not compensate for how far he had to drive to come pick you up or any of the fuel involved in him taking you from point A to point B. His take may be six or seven bucks out of that. Now you got to add on the expectation that he's willing to get out of the car and help you out in any manner you expecting him to. Whether it's lifting a wheelchair, folding up a walker, you name it. Six or seven bucks. I understand they do take anywhere from 40 to 70% of some of the fares. Don't believe me? Ask your next driver how much is he getting and compare it to what you just paid. You don't have to take my word for it at all. Next time you get in an Uber, just ask the driver how much did he get when you get out and compare that to how much Uber or Lyft made you pay. And you'll understand why folks don't want to go above and beyond. Factor in what I stated earlier, nobody tips us to begin with. So I want to point that out to this particular passenger. Nobody is trying to discriminate against you for no reason at all. It's, as some would say, it's just not worth it. Perhaps as a disabled passenger, let the driver know when you intend to tip him five bucks. I guarantee you started talking about tips as a text message. If you're going to send him a message suggesting we'll need help with wheelchair, we'll need help with walker, we'll tip five bucks can be in there too. Guarantee you'll get a better response out of drivers for that. 
that helps compensate that low ass fare they are receiving. But continuing on, here's another comment. Uber's policy prohibits drivers who use the Uber app from refusing service to a rider with a disability who can get into the vehicle on their own from refusing to assist with stowing assistive devices like folding wheelchairs, crutches, canes, and walkers. Well, the idea that you cannot refuse a trip from somebody who can get into the car on their own. If a passenger can hop out of their wheelchair and jump into your vehicle on their own, that still leaves the wheelchair on the side of your vehicle that requires you as a driver to get out and deal with. You have to fold that up and put that in a trunk or whatever the case may be. If it's 20, 30 pounds and you happen to pull your back out, lifting it, understand Uber and Lyft does not provide drivers. This is to my disabled passengers that may be watching. Drivers are not provided with workers' comp. So if a driver injures himself in any way, pinch points on folding devices like walkers, the driver pinches himself or, you know, happen to stretch his back, dealing with a wheelchair that may be 20 to 40 pounds, nobody helps that driver out at all. The time he loses in wages, or even if he just got to simply go out and purchase Ben Gay for his sore back, all of that is on the driver, 100%. So why would a driver engage in a behavior, even if it has a very, very low risk of any physical exertion, when there is a 0% compensation rate? Why would you get involved in it to begin with? Now, to follow up in regards to the I, the suggestion that, well, the federal law sees the disabled as a protective class, so legally you cannot discriminate against drivers. That's not totally true. As an independent contractor, you have the right to cancel all the way up until the person gets in your car. Now, it is officially illegal if you get, you actually tell somebody to their face, I don't do disabled trips. Or if you got a disabled passenger in your car already and you kick them out and you yell out it's because you're disabled. Yeah, that's a crime. That is, that is a violation. I mean, I don't know how far it would go. I mean, who's going to sue an Uber driver making minimum wage to begin with? But it is illegal to do that. Nevertheless, as a driver, when you're driving down the street, if you're coming up to a passenger and you see them in a wheelchair or needing some type of assistance, you can cancel the trip at that point and you have a million versions of plausible deniability why you didn't take that trip that has nothing to do with them being disabled. My engine light suddenly came on and I felt some knocking in the car. My vehicle was not in a good condition to take this trip. I received a, a, a message from my child that they were on the porch, locked out, came home, forgot their keys. I had to go home. I received a call from my spouse. We had an emergency. I had to cancel the trip and go. I mean, there's a million reasons for why you can cancel a trip without yelling out. It's because I saw a damn wheelchair. There's plausible deniability all over the place. So the idea that you can't discriminate in a world where we are all independent contractors is good luck with that. It's pretty easy to do that. But I just wanted to point this out because I did get hammered in the comments and to my disabled watching the video, the solution is simple. Let that driver know you intend to compensate them for the extra labor. I'd pick up a blind person, you name it. I don't mind getting out of the car and I, I don't listen. We've taken every driver. All of my veteran drivers can tell you this in the comments. We've all went above and beyond for passengers who did not show us a damn bit of gratitude. Help folks carry laundry in their houses, groceries up the steps, and they barely even said thank you. So a lot of drivers are hesitant or have a you know reservation towards going above and beyond because there is so little gratitude in the business. You can blame Uber and Lyft for a lot of this. First of all, they shouldn't be taking such a huge percentage of the damn fares, but they should also encourage passengers to tip, not discourage. A lot of ride sharing has its its history deeply rooted in discouraging tips. Uber, I'm talking to you. So to conclude the video, just letting my disabled passengers who may be watching know money goes a long ass way. Just a few bucks. 
when you're texting before you get before the driver gets there if you're wondering whether they'll deal with somebody who is disabled or not few bucks so you gotta I'm, I'm disabled i may need help with a wheelchair i do tip three four five bucks that will absolutely make a difference in how successful you are in getting a trip Otherwise, that driver's showing up and he may drive off earning three to six bucks without your tip. It's your boy Tim. As always, feel free to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next video.